Well, I have to admit, guys, I am shook. I don't know how you Californians live with this on a constant basis. I, I don't think I would be able to handle it. I'm talking about earthquakes. And so uh, I live in New York and at 10.23 a.m. this morning, we experienced a 4.8 magnitude earthquake out of fucking nowhere. I was, at the time of this earthquake, I was getting out of the shower. I was having a lazy morning, taking my sweet ass time. I went to the gym, I ate breakfast, I uh, came I, I came home and, and I, I took a shower. I was getting ready for my clients and my day. And as I'm getting out of the shower, I he I feel this the whole house was shaking. So I was on the second floor in my master bathroom. The whole house was shaking and there was this loud really scary rumbling and my brain wasn't registering what was happening. And I thought there was some big truck accident outside, some kind of big accident. Like I don't know, a construction type of accident that would count for this big bang and I was like oh my god what the frick is going on and then all of a sudden my phone started ringing off the hook and everybody was calling and texting and then I found out that we had just had an earthquake and I put the news on and it, it was 4.8 on the Richter scale and it happened at a fault line uh near I think it's near New Jersey so New Jersey New York Long Island Connecticut uh the whole tri-state area, we all felt this earthquake. So I, I, I think I'm still shaking. I, I, I have never experienced this before in my life. And so, of course, the first thing I thought of was that on Monday, we are having this total solar eclipse. And we are in the path of totality here in New York, Buffalo, New York is getting 100% coverage where I live, we're getting about 88% coverage. And eclipses are known to stimulate natural disasters. And then my friend Danielle, who owns the Amityville Apothecary, it's a metaphysical store here, we were Facebooking and she said, and you know what? Her friend made the comment that the earthquake was a 4.8 magnitude and we are having the eclipse on April 8th, 4.8. I don't know if that's some kind of an omen. I have to be honest. I thought that was a really interesting piece of synchronicity that uh, I just can't seem to overlook. And so numerologists weigh in, fascinating piece of information, but I can't help but wonder is this just the precursor to something bigger or will there be aftershocks? Was this the big one that we're getting? And, and so basically people are reporting uh, no damage at this level, but everybody's house shook. People saw the shaking, you know, glass was shaking, all of that. And when you are a New Yorker and you are not used to earthquakes, it, it really does, it rattles you. Even, I'm guessing even if you're used to earthquakes, this is a rattling experience. So. Uh, instead of me babbling, I said, let me pull up the chart. I'm still getting phone calls. My, my Z is calling me now to see if I'm okay. I, I can't, I, this phone is ringing off the freaking hook. So instead of uh, just babbling and giving you my thoughts, I want to just make you sure you understand I am not a mundane astrologer. That is not my area of expertise. It's not my wheelhouse. But of course, as an astrologer, I couldn't help but put up the chart for the moment that this earthquake happened here in my location. And so I wanted to show you this chart because then I started Googling some information about earthquake significators and it was pretty interesting. So let me show you this chart. All right. Uh, so here we have the chart of, I just, I, I think I'm gonna switch the, um, the chart wheel so you guys can see it a little bit easier. 
Oh man, what a crazy thing, guys. Okay, so this is the chart uh, where I live at the moment of the eclipse, 10, 23 a.m. today, April 5th, 2024. And what struck me immediately about this event chart is the is the midheaven. Look at the top of the chart. Have your eyes go here immediately. And please notice that at the midheaven, we have the moon in Pisces, and we have an applying Mars Saturn conjunction. And the midheaven is at five degrees. So there is this cluster of energies happening at the top of the chart. And the moon, the transiting moon, served as a trigger. And from what I understand, Mars Saturn conjunctions are known to trigger earthquakes. This is one trigger, potential trigger of earthquakes. I thought it was fascinating that. At the time of this earthquake, we had the moon in Pisces triggering, opening up, stimulating this applying Mars-Saturn conjunction. And this was all at the top of the chart at the midheaven. And so that to me was quite reflective, very interesting. And then another interesting potential indicator of earthquake energy from what I've read, and, and I want the mundane astrologers to weigh in, I am certainly no expert here, but just my observations, uh, Uranus and Taurus, earthquake significators, and the upcoming Jupiter-Uranus conjunction, which is not going to be exact till the 20th, 21st, that's another piece of information that is just in the sky right now. It, it's not necessarily related to the Mars-Saturn conjunction, other than the fact that Mars and Saturn are applying to set to make a sextile to Jupiter. But that was interesting to me as well, that we have two patterns happening at the same time right now. We have Mars conjunct Saturn, and we have an applying Jupiter-Uranus conjunction. And these are both patterns that are symbolically connected to earthquakes. And then the big one, obviously, is our upcoming eclipse on Monday. But Look at the ascendant of the chart. We have late degree Gemini rising and transiting Neptune is exactly square the ascendant. And the ruler of this chart is a Mercury retrograde. So part of me does wonder, is this going to happen again in the next couple of days in our area? Will there be either aftershocks or it, was this, the small one and is there a bigger one coming and you know i certainly don't want to make people panic i'm not making a prediction that that will happen i don't i don't know this is not my wheelhouse i am just speculating and talking but mercury being retrograde as the ruler of the chart applying to the eclipse which happens on monday it's it's something noteworthy something interesting and so of course the final piece of information here is that we're getting a solar eclipse on Monday. And here's the eclipse chart for my location. So I did it for my location just because, you know, the earthquake happened here and I'm here. So I wanted to see, was there any relationship? Well, what I don't love is that the where I live, the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction is gonna be at the midheaven at the time of the solar eclipse. And that Mars-Saturn conjunction is almost exact at the time of the eclipse. And the sun rules the chart, which is literally the eclipse. Uh, I, I don't know what to make of this. I don't know if it is or isn't going to be astrologically significant. So again, I am not making a prediction that, you know, something horrible is going to happen in my area. But... The last time I got this concerned about any kind of natural disaster was when Hurricane Sandy happened in my area. And then I was homeless um, because of the flood. And I saw it pretty clearly in the astrology because the full moon was happening at the time of the storm. And there was some other energy that was just crazy. And I, I thought that it was going to be a storm worse than what we thought at first, but I didn't think it was going to be as disastrous as what ended up happening. I ended up be, being homeless for months because of it. I lost my um, my office, you know, forget it. It was a crazy time. So this is just, a, I guess, a reminder of, you know, 
there are forces out there way more powerful than us. We think we're in the driver's seat, but uh, let me tell you, a natural disaster reminds us that we are not in charge. There are forces, mother nature, spirit, energy, whatever it is, creator, there is something bigger than us and eclipses are powerful faded times and they are big triggers for major life events on a personal level and on a collective level. And just from my random Google search, looking at Mars Saturn conjunctions and Uranus, the planet Uranus and the sign Taurus, all being patterns connected to earthquakes. Interesting. And, and Saturn Uranus energies are also as well um, from what I Googled quickly and eclipses. I mean, any, any natural disaster can happen at any time. But again, the reason why this is video worthy from my perspective is because I'm gonna be 50 years old and I have never experienced an earthquake in New York. I know we may have had minor, minor, minor tremor-like situations maybe eight years ago or 10 years ago in the past. I didn't even feel it. This, whoa, everybody felt. Big deal, significant. And I think the astrology is pretty interesting also. So uh, earthquake people, let me know in the comments what your experience is. This was a 4.8. What have you lived through? What have you experienced? What's the worst earthquake you have experienced and what kind of damage did it do for your home or in your area? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that a lot of you on the West Coast have experienced a lot more horrible earthquake situations. So I'm curious to know about uh, all of you earthquake warriors out there, what your experience was. For those of you in the tri-state area, comment, let me know how you experienced it. For me, my whole house shook and you know, I'm still shaking a little bit. Um, and this morning, what's so funny too, is part of the reason why I got a late start this morning, aside from just, you know, being a little on the lazy side, was that I got my sprinkler system turned on yesterday. And my son noticed a leak outside, the sprinkler pipe outside was broken and spraying out water and leaking. And this is the pipe that connects my house, the inside system to the outside. So I called my sprinkler guy and I was like, um, I have a bit of a sprinkler emergency. The whole pipe is spraying water. So I had to shut down the system. And I, I mean, I almost wonder if there would have been damage to my house had I not, uh, had my son not told me about noticing the spraying water and had I not shut that pipe down and shut the system down. But thank God we have no damage, no issues. And now I have to get myself back into consultant mode because I have clients booked for the afternoon but uh, I had to put this video up and, and stay safe, everybody. Uh, it's not meant to cause panic. So please don't misunderstand this video. This is just an astrological conversation. Uh, yes, I am you know, personally telling my loved ones, I would prefer that you don't drive during the time of the eclipse if you can stay home only because people get crazy and, and um, you know, you don't want to deal with accidents or traffic or anything like that. So I am telling my loved ones to try to stay close to home, but it's not because I think the world's going to end. It's just because I'm a mother who's being a mother. Okay. So just understand the context of this video. I don't want it misconstrued in any way. This is an astrological conversation of something that actually happened that I experienced real life astrology, natural disaster. That's 4.8 when we're about to have an eclipse on 4-8. Very interesting. All right, guys, take care.